and I know what you're thinking. Oh, you're going to the cemetery, okay? After that, we went and walked down to Pooh's Corner. Because <laughs> you would kick my little booty. Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew and we're gonna go on a little adventure day today. One, it's 8.45 in the morning and I am already up. I have my second cup of coffee already, which for me is a lot. I generally, well, I've been trying editing videos, starting my day at nine, but I haven't always been successful with that. Anyways, so it's 8.45 and we got up early. We made bread this morning and we made pizza this morning. I started my day off with pizza slice. So if that's not the best day ever, I don't know what is. Now I'm sitting here at my coffee and then I have my oat room. I have oats every single morning. If you watched my 30 day challenge video for going on three months now, <laughs> we're doing oats every single morning. So just saying oats with apple and you add some cinnamon. I don't have cinnamon here, but if you add cinnamon, that is the key to a good life. Why I am up. I am up because we are going to the cemetery today and I know what you're thinking. Oh, you're going to the cemetery, okay? My best friend has been telling me forever. She's like, whenever you come to Australia, we're gonna go to the cemetery and that's where you're gonna see the kangaroos, which we found kangaroos before. If you've already heard me talk about, they're like a 15 minute walk away from the house. However, these kangaroos are about a 30 minute walk and there should be more than the little family that I stalk all the time. The cemetery is like a plot of land and then it backs up to a big plot of land right here and then there's a prison or a jail or something. That's why kangaroos congregate there because there's so much land. So the kangaroos congregate in the land of the prison jail cemetery. That's about a 30 minute walk and then catty corner to that is something called the poo bushland reserve. Like not poo as in poop but poo as in poo bear, the cute honey bear and my favorite childhood character by the way so i'm actually really excited and so there should be kangaroos at the poo bushland reserve too also people say they have spotted koalas there and i have not seen a koala so i'm hoping to see a koala which would be really cool that's what we're doing today that's why i'm up early little update on myself this walk will be a decent walk again obviously because the poo bushland reserve or whatever is google says a 38 minute walk so it'll be kind of like we did the other day and i walked seven miles then that night that i walked seven miles one i was so tired like extremely exhausted i did not think it would be that much for me my body was extremely exhausted and two i hurt so bad that i had to take an ibuprofen just to sleep we'll try not to do that again but if i do I'll take an ibuprofen. That's not a great solution, but I only took one, so it's not like major. Oh, yes. We're going to have a brunch, like picnic thing, which I'm so excited about. I have, there's these playgrounds in different parks around the way, and I'm like, we need to go to a playground and sit in a little swing and have a little picnic and whatever. And she was like, finally, indulges me. She's indulging me. So we're going to have a little picnic and spread a little hummus style dip. It's made of split peas, which is not the best to make hummus out, by the way. But we need to get rid of these split peas and we don't mind the hummus. So we're going to have that with some veggies and bread. I'm excited for today and I am excited for y'all to come along.
We're just sitting here taking a little break, being attacked by birds. This is one that's been stalking us for a while. There's some up in the tree here, you know. And then there's like all these ones sitting over here. And it's springtime, so there's little baby joeys in the pouches, which is so cute. And we're almost thinking a mom might be giving birth, but we're not for sure. It just got done raining, so it's actually pretty nice out. A little humid right now, but yeah. So, day's going well. well we are back I took a break for like an hour and I need to do a few things because I want to film tomorrow while they're gone doing stuff it got a little chilly here in Brisbane so I put sleeves on and I am cold right now I might have to put pants on too and it's been a while since I put pants on because it's been so warm here and I've even been keeping the window open all day all night there's birds flying around the windows because I'm on the second story, so there's like flying right in my view. So if you see me look over, that's probably why. 19 degrees Celsius. Obviously, I was doing t weather for my friend. 67, so it is chilly out there. Wow. Okay. And we got rained on while we were out there as well, and so that probably didn't help the chill factor because it was pretty breezy. So we got completely rained on, and I wasn't completely wet. As you, My makeup's still like semi-okay, so... But my sunscreen was dripping off my ears, so I was just like, okay. So, yeah, but it was a good day. A lot of walking. We did around seven and a half miles walk, which I did not anticipate and did not want. I thought maybe around five or six at the most. The first kangaroos we saw were a mama and her baby, and they were in the cemetery, but... So there was a gate, and then the cemetery was behind the gate, and they weren't as scared and I wasn't as scared to get as close and so we were really close to this mama and the little baby Joey was in her pouch and it was literally the cutest thing in the world which that was the closest I've ever seen a baby Joey in her pouch we have learned since we've been like stalking this other kangaroo family what it looks like when a mom has a like baby in her pouch whenever she's eating a really big white stomach and when you can see that white stomach, it generally means there's a baby in the pouch. But this little baby Joey was, like, eating grass from the pouch. Like, it wouldn't get out of the pouch. But the mom was bending over to eat grass, and then the baby was eating grass, too. That was, like, the first kangaroos we saw. So, that was really cool. And then I was also really excited when I saw the kangaroo and koala signs. Like, it made me so excited. It was, like, almost just, like, seeing a kangaroo and a koala in real life was these signs. So talk about like very Australian. A lot more kangaroos than we normally see and these ones are a little bit more used to people. They let you get a little bit closer but there's a lot of males and so I don't know much about kangaroos. I haven't really researched but it's always surprising me to see a lot of males and females together. Then we hit, no, 
the mama and the baby weren't the first kangaroos we saw actually before that there was an archery place and it had a big grassland and all those kangaroos are just laying down which i've never seen so many kangaroos laying down and when we came back they were still laying down so they obviously have no predators they have plenty to eat because they were just having the time of their lives in the grass lounging and i don't know how many there are like tons of kangaroos around there we had bags in our hands so the birds when we were sitting in that spot were literally surrounding us it the magpies will get super close to you and those are the birds that like swoop and are very territorial and so i'm terrified as magpies i'm not as terrified now that after they were like surrounding us today so much because they were surrounding us so much because we had bags and they could hear the bags rustling and so i'm not as terrified as i was but pretty terrified nonetheless whenever they will swoop and they're big birds they're like not small birds we saw a bush turkey and that bush turkey we just stood there and it just walked in front of me and it was like the perfect shot because it was maybe five feet away from me or so the bush turkeys are kind of ugly but at the same time they have like deep yellow and red on their neck they actually do look pretty cool and we see them quite often here as well after that we went and walked down to Pooh's corner <laughs> Pooh's Corner Nature Reserve, maybe, is what it's called. And we did not get to see any koalas, which we looked for the entire four kilometers. We looked for the dang koalas in the trees and did, I would be highly impressed if somebody found a koala over there. They probably blend in with the trees, so many trees. It's like, how are you supposed to look through all those? And there's so much land. So unfortunately we didn't get to see a koala, but at the end of 4Ks, I was just like, okay, I'm done anyways. Like, I'm done looking up. I want to stop this. I want to go home. I was like tired and ready to go home at that point. To round it out, at the end of that trail, which was called Kangaroo Trail, we actually found little baby kangaroos. I don't know if they're kangaroos. They're probably most likely kangaroos. They could be wallabies. I can't really tell the difference at all. And I think most of the time we're seeing kangaroos but they were on the trail. The kangaroos were on the trail and we walked by them, scared them, which kangaroos are more scared of humans. And so they will most likely run unless you are super, super close to them. But these ones, we still got really close to them, but they were smaller than us. So I wouldn't be as nervous about being around them. The family that I stalk all the time, that daddy is like, he's large and muscly. You just see their muscles and you're like, I'm not taking on you because you would kick my little booty. Came back, we had our little picnic, came back, ate the rest of my celery and carrots and hummus. Right now it's 514 and so it's been a really full day. But like I said, I wanted to go ahead and get some work done because I want to film tomorrow and I didn't get to do it yesterday. And so I'm going to try to do that before I... Uh, have dinner and maybe probably also stretch because my body will be tight after today's here i also have this like really interesting desk setup it's just a box let me see if i can show you it's a computer box but it just puts it higher like higher level to see and so i don't have to strain my neck as much and i also so i have my laptop i also carry around a full mouse with me everywhere i go because i just like using a mouse better to do things is easier for me to navigate and so yeah to wrap this up for the night um, so that I can just relax and enjoy the rest of my night, eat dinner, watch some YouTube. So thank you for joining me today. Let me know if you've ever seen kangaroos in person. There is a zoo in Colorado Springs, which I have been to, and they have little wallabies that you can walk around. Um, so that's cool. So maybe some of y'all have done that. Let me know if you've been to Australia, because I would love to know, and I would love to know your experience and what you got to do here, um, and what you thought about it, because 
I just get to see a little glimpse of Australia, which is how I prefer traveling, is to see a glimpse for a longer period of time. Thank you for watching today. I hope we can go out and make the world 1% better today in whatever action or way that that means for you. Even if that means making yourself 1% better today, then that's what I hope we do because you being 1% better means the world is going to be 1% better. Subscribe if you would like. Thank you so much and I'll see you later. Bye guys.